Today we're gonna to take a look at Aquar's submersible sump pump. This is a really great tool to have for so many different reasons. I use them a lot in floods. Sometimes someone will flood out their basement due to a burst pipe. These are really good for that. But also they are great just for sumps. A lot of homes now are required to have sumps and this is exactly what you would wanna use. This comes with the half horsepower sump pump and two different fittings. You've got the three quarter inch fitting here for a hose. So that makes it very easy if you wanna pump out a pool, a hot tub, maybe a pond. And then you've got this one here, which is more for an ABS connection. It's threaded on the inside as well. So you will have to buy an adapter. And then typically you will hard pipe ABS pipe out of this and have it go to the exterior of your home. You can also buy flex hose. There's all different types of plastic flex hose that you can get and you can buy connectors and they'll hook onto this, screw this in and you're good. So if you're not familiar, uh, sump pump, the way they work is there's basically a float ball right here. This is a switch. So once it rises up above the halfway mark and you can just hear it click off here, I'll just get close so you can hear it. So there's a little ball in here, and when that falls back towards here, it triggers the unit on. Once it starts pumping, this can pump a lot of water. So this is a half horsepower motor, and this is gallons per hour. So at five feet high, or 10 feet high, or 15 feet high, or 20 feet high, that means pipe coming straight out of the sump pump. These are the numbers of gallons per hour that it'll pump. So at five feet, you're pumping 4,000 gallons per hour. That is a lot of water. And 10, 15, 20, 20 feet, you're still pumping 2,720 gallons per hour. So that's just like a fire hose of water coming out. So hopefully you don't have to do that unless it's a pool or a, you know, a, a hot tub or something like that. But for a home, these are great. One thing I will note, when you are installing these, make sure you don't put these too close to the side of a sump because what can sometimes happen is these can float up and it's, this is with every type of sump pump. It's not just this model, but sometimes these can flip over and get caught. You want to make sure that there's no wall right beside it because sometimes they ride up the wall and then they kind of get caught on the wall and then eventually they work themselves over. And when that happens, it's constantly on and you can burn out a motor. That's not just this model, that's any sump. Just be really careful as to where you place it in your hole and you'll be fine. It's got a great little handle here so you can move it around. It's got a nice long plug. Make sure you unplug it before you go and grab it. You're dealing with power and water, so always be careful there. Otherwise, it's a really great sump. You can pump water, dirty water, all kinds of good stuff. So you can easily throw this in a pond, you know, when it comes fall and you got to clean that pond out. This is perfect for it. All right, guys, I hope this little overview was helpful. Till next time, keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.